how has border cross changed over the years in the Olympics and in you know regular competition? Um, well, I mean, at the, at the World Cup level, it's getting better and better. Um, a lot of um, the early lobbying that I did when I made the move from the International Snowboard Federation to the FIS um, is starting to pay off, or has paid off, kind of in the last five years. That um, we're consistently hiring the same course builders, um, getting better resources from the ski areas where we're going to go with the tour, um, and having that level of challenge in the courses raised um, so has year it, by year. So, so is it? gotten faster, bigger, more dangerous? What? Um, I, I don't think that it's anything necessarily as one of those specifically, but the the level of challenge rises year by year. Um, if the course builders are doing their job right, then it's not dangerous. Um, it does get a little bigger, a little faster, um, but it's more that uh, the blend of being able to mix the transitions so that they're more functional um, is the key component in making turns better just having longer courses too so that more can play out during the length of the race so um, and that's you know we're clearly seeing that the the talent level is getting better and better too that was good that it was a long course at the olympics that yeah, was good absolutely. for you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. okay thanks yep five percent maybe i don't ever get up there so yeah no so and, and again it's going to take three to five years to get all that cutting done but it was actually really impressive. First snow a couple weeks ago, I, I was coming home from a trip and came around on my gosh corner, and there was probably only four to six inches of snow up on the hill, but it was, you know, the glades are cut much more in a western style, that they're very open, and you could actually see the glades from a couple miles away um, with just those few inches of snow down. And I, I've been seeing pictures from patrol guys and stuff that have been in there cutting, and it's, it's really coming up nice. And we've, we've had a lot of, um, a lot of the terrain that, is being expanded over right now in this phase one. Um, I coached for two years at CBA while I was kind of making the transition to the Pro Tour. Um, and I used to take my kids out there with hand saws because um, uh, I'd go hiking and I'd find these little cliffs in the woods and be like, all right, we're doing dry land today. We're going to go hike up to King Pine and go cut stuff. And so a lot of the initial terrain features that are in there were stuff um, that myself and originally the CBA kids and then later um, I had a household uh, that there was five of us that lived there that the other uh, the other five roommates were all either um, involved with patrol, trail crew, um, or lift ops. And so we would all go out in the fall and um, our old VP of marketing, Jim Costello, um, gave us a key to the, the lockbox that had the chainsaws and patrol and kind of turned a blind eye, blind eye and was like, if you need gas, you can fill them up right behind the, the admin well, building. Not and so, not there anymore. No, 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 no. <laughs> other, other issues there. But, um, um, and now it's, it's awesome um, to be doing it, you know, to the way that it should be done, um, you know, moving forward in these next three to five years. So it's exciting.